Welcome back to Underrail. We avoided a fight with some burrows by dodging into this shed after we killed a few spawns and now we are going to loot whatever we can find in here. Too bad we already have enough propaganda leaflets. What's that? Oh, battery, fusion cells. That's actually not useless. But we can't get to this barrel. That's ingenious. They don't even have a way to come in here, but they're already digging up a new eggs to make our life harder than it should be. Wait. This we can actually avoid. I don't know why the cooldown always restarts when you load a game. to be hacked. And inside um, is a grenade. I don't want to go here. Of course. Why do they even know we're here? That w is what I actually really don't like about this game. They have actually no idea we're there. And still they all can attack us. Okay, we have to wait off this poison. damage itself is not that bad. That old diver su uh, suit helmet. Okay.
explosive barrel. Actually, we should be saving <laughs> so we can escape just in case. Empty. I would prefer not to fight with them. Question is, can we get around? Interesting. I just thought there might be a passageway, but actually we we flooded the lower area. I suppose there aren't any left now. That was easy. Okay, there are still some left. Do I want to take them out in order to get... Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea, I suppose. Okay, we're not skilled enough to put on this trap somewhere. I would prefer to lure them into some traps first. If possible. Faster, faster, faster. I don't want to be attacked by them. Uh, 
and if I am correct we are also able to pick those up pretty easily. Come on, over here. Of course, no, no they don't want to come over here. One might think they are actually avoiding our traps. Come on. least place one of them over here. Just in case one of them comes to the conclusion that it would be smarter to run over We stand over here. We can quickly hide somewhere. Yeah, that's exactly what I hoped would happen.
Well, it worked. Some way. So the traps aren't useless, actually. It's great to know. Spawn has 30 hit points. This means we can kill him pretty easily. Fire for still two turns. For one more turn. Okay, so he has left 119. Can we do this in one shot? Well, let's hope so. Mm, nah, didn't work out the way I intended it to. These two are done for. A poison gland. This is exactly what we were looking for, but we weren't able to kill the other. That's a Burra Ocarina. Two points. That's nice. This arm, this one. And then we'll bandage our wounds, loot all the other stuff. It's too bad that there's no area over there. What's that? A trilobite fossil. Well, another point. That's nice. It's the old cage. Three points. Shaded visor. Wow. Actually, that was very useful for us to come here. Hacking 55, easy. Ooh, nice. And now we have to power up the hexer again. Nice. So everything's looted, we saved, we're in stealth again. The only remaining question is... 
will we take on the last ones? As I can see, we can avoid it, so... No, we're not. Oh, great. So they waited all the time we, we spent inside. Yes, I do not like this. No, there's nothing we can do about it. Except, yeah, blowing them up. Shredding them to pieces and... I don't know, do we make a run for it or... this well actually that wasn't as useless as I imagined we missed but we missed pretty good <laughs> for two more turns. We heal ourselves. Okay, we just got an achievement for whatever. Cool down for two more turns. effect of that will be. Well, at least just a little bit. Let's hope we can make it before they block our escape route. Stop biting my boot, it's new. Six. That is actually good for us. Okay. Can't wait, so... have 
the action points for this. We have the action points for this. Yeah, of course. About that, I don't care, but uh, this one will poison me again. Yeah, they are planting new eggs. This one planted an egg and now more poison, of course. Okay, I suppose the maximum poisoning is five. Okay. So how much does he have left? Okay. It might actually be not that bad. So we just can Freeze him up. Then retreat a little bit. Okay, the spawn we will kill immediately. for one more turn. Just dig as many holes as you want. We are safe. So we actually can't fire a fireball through the... Uh. Okay. 
No problem. We'll just take it easy. Really, you don't have enough action points left to close the door. Critical hit of seven damage. Of course, how much? 23. How much will one take? 10 action points, we have 30. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll keep hitting just in case, but I suppose that's all of them. A carpus. Well, we'll take it. some parts more remains well at least now we can take whatever they have or had Let's see a locker and the desk and another locker oh. packet is nice that's empty and Two flares, okay. But actually, we did it without too much saving and loading, and actually, we only reloaded once, if I recall correctly. So, actually, our character build is paying our, uh, uh, itself now, I suppose. Edgar. Again, that sounded like someone was was cutting up his cat. A really disturbing sound, actually. Mm -hmm. I dealt with the burrows. 
His eyebrow rise. Well done, well done. I underestimated you. I have to be honest. What? How did you manage to do it? <laughs> That's nice. I don't take it, but... Um, I want to read it to you. It was easy. I went to the mines, punching burrows with my bare fists on my way in. Then I saw water leaking through from rock rocks, pr uh, punched them into oblivion, and water static r uh, started rushing through and washed the vermin ab away. Then I roared like an angry animal <laughs> as I watched them flail uh, their inadequate legs trying to save their lives. And now you're safe. <laughs> That's so Schwarzenegger, is it? I blast some rocks that were completely blocking an underground river. After I took care of it, it took care of the burrowers. They won't cause you uh, any more problems. We're all in your debt. Thank you so much. I find it quite impressive to witness what one man can do. As, thank, uh, as a thank you, I offer you monetary reward, about 200 coins, and on top of that, since I'm very pleased by your work, one of the following, a crossbow, a sniper rifle, an assault rifle or a knife. All top quality. Yeah. The crossbow sounds knife. Uh, sounds knife, of course. Sounds nice. Excellent choice. You've earned it. Now that this bug infestation is over, the Red Hound King is the only thing we have to worry about again. <sighs> about the Red Hound King. Have mentioned him before? I suppose I was too focused on the current issue. Who is he actually? The self-proclaimed Red Hound King is a savage man that lives with his filthy Red Hounds. He appears to have absolute control over them, as they behave much like a small army. I'm just trying to read... Okay, the episode's over anyway, so... Yeah, there's the timer. Um, it is almost unreal. I don't know where he resides or how he managed to control the, uh, these red hounds, but one thing is certain, he is very, uh, he's a very dangerous individual. If you run into him by any chance, you better run for your life, because he ain't gonna show you mercy and I don't think no man or woman can defeat him alone. He's intelligent and he's as large as a boulder. He is the master of setting deadly traps and covering his tracks so well that, for most of us, he might as well be floating through these caves. And I'm not even going to mention deadly poison he uses with the weapons. He killed many of our own and I don't think he's bound to stop. But why are you guys fighting? It st all started four years ago, even though it seems like a century. Back then, late Gideon Sutt uh, was the leader of Camp Hathor. One day he came before of, uh, us all and told us that someone calling himself Red Hound King was invading our hunting grounds. At one point Gideon said he had even managed to speak to this man, but it turned out that the man wasn't nothing but a filthy savage with, uh, who had no interest in discussing anything with anyone. The man claimed these lands belonged to him and wouldn't accept anyone telling him otherwise. His stubborn attitude and Gideon's opposition to uh, give in to this man's demand marked the start of our conflict. Since then, he's been attacking our hunters either directly or by trapping the hunting grounds. Or on few occasions he has uh, even sent packs of red hounds to invade our camp. All in all, he caused a lot of trouble and a lot of death around here, but we'll get rid of him eventually. We will get rid of him. What if I can take him down? In that case, I'll say one thing. Good luck with that. You'll need to find him first. So far, we have had no luck in tracking him down. Even if you do somehow manage to find him, know that he most likely surrounded uh, by his red hounds. Even if he's alone, he is dangerous enough. I can do it. I sure hope so. You prove your worth once. Let's see if he will be able to do it again. I want to see his severed head as proof and then, in any case, good luck. Well, we'll see about that, but at least we managed to get rid of this infestation. And mm, we are pretty much up to the next level. Three more points being left. So food stuff. We don't have any food stuff. Okay, we'll end the episode here because we are too... Um, for too on for too long now but we'll continue next time returning to the SGS 
and then we'll see what we'll do next. Thank you for joining in. If you liked what I did, thumbs ups for free. If you didn't like it, thumbs downs for free as well. There's a link in the video description as usual if you want to try the game for yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.